simply. I become very emotional with this ocean. I become very attached my whole life, and I got reattached. And I, you know, we fell back in love. Romeo and Juliet, they never felt this way. I bet. Don't underestimate my point of view. Don't underestimate my relationship with the sea. So, cherish the strength. You make me feel good. Cherish the love. Like I said, don't underestimate me as far as the sea's dead. I'm heartbroken. You don't care. My relationship with the sea, I was on the beaches. I almost got washed. I almost got a water bed a couple times. You know, at my You know, we call this our mermaid jewelry, but okay. this is what Pacific Ocean is. That's, what, that's all that's left in it. This is what's left in it. It's all garbage and it's plastic by the sea. That's all that's left. So we just went. That's good. Don't lose this here. You still rolling? Here we go. Seagulls. So we're here at Del Mar. We're here at Marina Del Mar. So we're on the Federal Protected March, okay? Now, one thing that I, last year, remember, I'm a pismo when they're playing dead birds. I want people to very much understand that the mirrors and the greens, all of them died. I'm telling you, they're all dead. They all died two years ago. Now, the expert biologist up in Alaska, he had to do it himself. These guys wouldn't do it, the, uh, the people that were paid to do it. And remember, there was one every, there was five per square meter, tens of millions. Now, what's a green? Green and a mirror, the little diving ducks, they're ancient, ancient short. They eat little fish like this. So we're on the Federal Protect Marsh Marine in Del Rey, which is famous for their blue herons, famous for their snowy ingrids. There's no shorebirds. I mean, there's no kill bears. There's no sandpipers. You know, at Pismo, there's some sandpipers left, but these are the animals that feed on the little fish. There's no fish here. So come out like Juliet, they never felt this way. what we've done to her. I've been on this ocean since I was a little boy, so I was very autistic. And by the way, I've got, they're right here. So I've spent the last few days with two really famous twins in LA, really amazing young women. They're 21 year old young women that I've been able to spend the last few days with and their family, severely autistic, where they're fantastic. Their sensitivity, because that's the way I was. So you smell the sea. You know, when I get 100 miles from the sea, I can still smell it. I mean, I didn't. Romeo and Juliet, they never felt this way, I bet. They never felt this way, I bet. Don't underestimate my point of view. Don't ever underestimate me and my relationship with the sea. You know, my mind, my soul, my relationship with the sea. How can you not be freaked out and so pissed the fuck off and outraged to watch these mass murders kill it? Fukushima did this. Yeah, it was happening. But Fukushima did this. They did this. You know, I said it's going to kill the sea, it's going to kill the sea, it's going to kill the sea. And then none of you fuckers will believe me. But I'm willing to do the work, and I'm a dirty fucking fool to do the dirty work. So I went on that rant inside the hearing in San Onofre, and I said, there is no political solution, there is no bloody revolution, and I'm fool that. Who really is the fool? Who is the fool? Who is the fool? The people that ask me to do this, the people that I do all this dirty work for, remember I had fucking had OS de Nubo freaking cancer in my body 2011, just like her, just like her, and poisoned me by the sea, in the sea, because we are from the sea. So, 0.06 survived. So while I've walked the entire coast from Mexico to Chico, all the Diablos, San Onofre, all of it, I, I know every nook and cranny of this shoreline in California, and I'm here to tell you, when all, the starfish are gone. 
fucking gone. The sea and the seabirds are fucking gone. The mirrors all fucking died. Playing ball about pismos because you can't see. I see. Like I said, don't underestimate. I, you know, you know how radical and emotional I fucking been. You know, I'm really fucking perfect. I can. I mean, how can you not be? So cherish the love. Make me feel good. Cherish the love. Romeo and Juliet, they never felt this way, I bet. So don't ever underestimate my point of view. Don't underestimate my work. And all you rats and these trolls that doubted me, and everybody that went after me, because I did the work by the fucking sea. You did shit. So don't, you want to argue with me? Any place, anytime, anywhere, because I've got the visual fucking documentation, and I did the work with a central line hat on my juggler fucking, as the sea saved me. Why wouldn't she save me? I fight for her, she fights for me. My little granddaughter gave me this. I had it in my hand the whole time. The indigenous people always kept a rock in their hand. Body That's what I did for years, huh? Cherish the love. I kept the rock in my pocket the whole time. When I was going in at a coma, the bone marrow, I just fling it. And the nurses are in there all over praying. Don't you go tonight. Don't you go tonight. Hang in there. I'm like, the sea breathes strength back in me. Because I'll fight for her, she fights for me. The sea breaks back in me. What about you? What about you? Huh? What about you? You know, by the sea. Let's get him one more time, this little guy. You know, that's what I have to do. Are we going to take that away from him? Are yeah, we going to take that away from every child? You know, is that what we did? Is that what we did? That's You're so evil and you're so fucking rotten and nuclear energy. You're such a scumbag. That you're you're going to do that to the kids? Take that from them? <laughs> you know, it's like somebody says, would you go on the sea if you was a little kid? I says, when I was a little boy, they could have told me whatever was in there. They ain't stopping me. You know, they're not going to stop me. So, yeah, that's what we did. You know, I hope all these fuckheads are proud of themselves. And I hope every one of them rocks in the lowest form of fucking hell. Like I said, Romeo and Juliet, they never felt this way. I bet. So don't ever estimate my fucking point of view. Stand to me. Sure glad that little boy. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. You know, 